This week, as the Allies commemorate the 70th anniversary of D-Day, there's one story from the invasion most people don't know. It happened during the rehearsal, but the U.S. military kept it secret long after the war. Tonight, an American veteran tells the story to our Jim Axelrod. In the waters off this peaceful stretch of beach in southern England, the U.S. military lost more lives practicing to land on Utah Beach than actually died there on D-Day. This was in the middle of the night, of course, at 1.30. 94-year-old Doug Harlander was there, a 24-year-old ensign at the time aboard an American landing ship called an LST. April 28th was to be the full dress rehearsal. Eight landing ships loaded with thousands of troops assembled in the bay. But in a major error, the convoy's well-armed escort ship was forced back to port for repairs. German patrol boats spotted the LSTs, and just after 2 a.m., the unprotected convoy came under fire. LST 507 was struck by the first torpedo. When 507 got hit, yeah. what did you see? All I saw is the big flash, and you can see all of a sudden it's on fire. Minutes later, Harlander's ship was ripped apart by two torpedoes in quick succession. She sank in about six minutes. When I got in the water, the thing was cold. 44 degrees, and that's cold, cold water. I could move my elbows, my knees, but I couldn't move my fingers. They were just sticking straight out. Harlander hung onto a life raft for hours until a British ship fished him out of the water. And so they came me with a cup of tea, and I was trying to hold that cup of tea between my hands, and I drank about half of it. Half of it, I spilled it, but it was still the best drink I've ever had. He was among the lucky. I know that uh, so many people didn't get off the ship. They couldn't have. But I'm sure there's 300 people on the ship right now, dead. All told, more than 700 died in the convoy. Recently, hundreds gathered at a small beachside memorial to finally give those who died some measure of the honor they too deserve. Were you heroes? Were we heroes? I don't think we were heroes. It was just part of duty. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Frederick, Wisconsin.